Welcome to another episode of Simply Santa. Today in the show we're going to make a big batch of dough. And this is dough I use for pizzas and calzones. The lady that posted the recipe said she uses this dough for making rolls, uh, making her own hamburger buns and hot dog buns, uh, cinnamon rolls, uh, pizzas and calzones. A loaf of bread, a loaf of bread, sticky bones. I mean, she had a whole list. But let's get started in a big bowl. You're gonna need a big bowl because this is gonna proof in the bowl. So I've got six and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I've got another cup here, which make it seven in case I need it. And then I got um, a tablespoon and a half of salt. And I'm using my pink Himalayan salt. Use any kind of salt, sea salt, uh, your iodine salt, whatever. And also on top of the salt, you can't see it. I have two tablespoons of yeast, and this is the yeast that I use. I like the jar yeast, but sometimes I get the packets too. So it's whatever you, yeast you come across and you like to use. A tablespoon of sugar this won't be sweet it just gives your little yeast something to feed on you need three cups of lukewarm water right out of the tap so I've got it my water's warm now one two three and you really can't mess this up. All you do is just throw everything in together and mix it. I also want to put a little bit of olive oil or vegetable at the end. Mix it by hand. You can use your hands. You can use a mixer. You can use your uh, bread machine to mix it. Um, your electric mixer. But it'd be really hard on your electric mixer. Food processor. And I can already tell that I'm not going to need that other half a cup. So we only need six and a half cups of all purpose flour. It just depends on how your weather is. Rainy and whatnot. Is if you'll need, the, need it or not. You just want to mix it until you don't see no more dry flour and stuff. I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. One. Two. Okay, this makes pretty good. Now I'm just going to cover it with a clean dish towel and put it in a warm space. And this is the type of dough that you rise twice for stuff. Um, if I didn't tell you, this is called a uh, big batch of refrigerator dough so what we're going to do is let it rise the first time in a warm area so i'm just going to let this sit here for an hour while this do its first little rise this is the way i do it you don't have to you can shove it in the refrigerator but it's going to take a longer rise this is our dough after the first rise now you don't have to rise this you just go ahead and throw it in the refrigerator and then Take it out and pull whatever you need to and and shape it into whatever you desire and then let it rise. Four pounds of dough. So this makes four good size, medium, large dough balls for pizzas. Cut it into four equal sections and then I'm going to put some oil on my hands. Clean hands. Take part of that section of the dough out and bring it over here. You can do it on a floured surface and knead it, but I like to do it on my sofa and it don't stick to it. I'm just coming over here and knead it a little bit. Here's a perfect little dough ball. If you had a scale, you could weigh it to make sure each dough bowl 
got the right amount of dough. Okay, there's another little dough ball. You get the point that I'm going to do that to the other two dough balls. And then I'm going to put them back in the bowl. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. We're going to cover them with the, the lid. But don't push them down all the way, the lid. So you want it to breathe. After it's been in the refrigerator, whatever you're going to do with it, let your dough ball that you take out, whatever you're going to use, come up to room temperature about 15-20 minutes before you start working with it. Like I said, after the dough rises, you can store the dough for a couple weeks in the refrigerator or freeze for loaves, buns, pizza crust, pizza rolls, crescent rolls, cinnamon rolls. Like if you're going to bake it into buns or breads, um, you might want to brush an egg wash or melt a butter on them after you've shaped them and then let it rise. Then bake them like at 375 for, I don't know, buns about 18 to 20 minutes, bread about 40 to 45 minutes. And then you know the pizza or calzones or uh, pizza rolls, you know, high temp at 425 or 450 till done. So there you have it. That makes you four pounds of dough that you just leave in the refrigerator until you make whatever you want to with it or freeze it.